everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing the CU8 underbust corset made by Restyle, which is a brand in Poland. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. For the length and fit of this corset, it's cut almost straight across uh, at the top and bottom edges all the way around. So the center front here is 10 and a half inches. At the princess seam here, it's nine and a half inches, and four and a half of those inches are from the waist up, and five inches are from the waist down. The side seam here is also nine and a half inches, and in the center back, it's ten and a half inches again. For these circumferential measurements, I'm wearing the size 22 today, lace closed, so it has a waist of 22 inches. When I measured the rib cage here, right out of the box without wearing it, it was 30.5 inches, so it has a rib spring of 8.5 inches. And at the hip here, at the lower edge, it measured 36 inches, so it has a hip spring of 14 inches. Comparing this to the size chart on their website, they said that the rib spring should be about nine and a half inches. So my corset measured about an inch smaller in the ribs compared to what they said on the website. But the hips actually matched. They said that the hips should be a 14 inch hip spring. It should be 36 inches for the size 22 and that's what I got. Now you guys know that I have very small hips naturally, but uh, from the front you can't actually see that it's that big on me. However, when you turn to the side, you can see that uh, a lot of that extra space is in the back here. Um, so it would actually probably fit somebody with, um, if you had like not much of a bum but wider hips, it could probably re redistribute fairly in that direction. But even if you have slimmer hips but you have a little bit more of a booty, this corset might actually be able to accommodate that a little bit because a lot of that ease is in the back here. And for the general silhouette, you can see that the rib cage here is uh, fairly conical. It is fairly straight through the ribs, but the hips are very nicely rounded. They're very comfortably cupped over here, and there's no um, pinching on my iliac crest or anything. So let's go to the tabletop portion of this review, and I can show you all the other details of this corset close-up. So here is the Restyle corset laid flat, and for the materials, because I got CU8 uh, style, it has the burgundy satin fashion fabric and uh, some netting over the side seams here. And so uh, if you got a different style number, then obviously your fashion fabric may be different. But on the inside here, they're all uh, lined in black cotton twill with exception to the sports mesh corset. This is what the Restyle label and logo looks like. And on the other side, you can see the size of the corset, the uh, fiber content, and the country of manufacture. Turning to the side here, this corset has a six panel pattern, so it's 12 panels for both sides. Uh, because the center front and the center back panels have this solid satin, uh, and the other side panels have uh, the net overlay, it seems that they tweaked the pattern a little bit compared to some of their other CU styles. So the center front here is quite wide, uh, panel one is quite wide, while panel two is very, very skinny. Uh, panels three, four, and five are moderately skinny, and then panel six is pretty wide once again. This corset appears to be assembled with the welt seam method. So they started with panel one and put both layers together, and then assembled panel two, both layers, panel three, both layers, all the way until they get to the back here. The outline of the waist tape is quite visible through this corset. It's a one inch wide waist tape running invisibly through the layers. It starts at the center front and goes right to at least uh, the back grommets here. And uh, it's stitched down and anchored at every seam and every boning channel. The binding as well as these decorative black external boning channels here are both made from black satin, machine stitched on both outside and the inside here. There's a little bit of a top stitch on both sides, so it might have been uh, assembled with one pass. And this also has um, four garter tabs in this corset, it's two on each side, they're very tiny. One there and another in the back there. The modesty panel in this corset is just short of seven inches wide, so that's quite wide. It'll give you about five and a half inches of usable space. It's unstiffened and anchored down at one side of the corset, so if you don't like the modesty panel, you can just take a seam ripper and really easily remove it. And it is finished in uh, the same burgundy satin on the outside and black cotton twill on the inside. 
There's also a modesty placket in the front. It's extending from the knob side of the busk. It's about three quarters of an inch wide and it's uh, it's not boned but it is slightly interfaced and it's finished in the same burgundy satin. The busk in this corset is nine and a half inches long and has five loops and pins all equidistantly spaced. It is also a black powder coated busk here so that makes it really nice at the fact that this corset has all black hardware in it. It is just a touch wider than a standard flexible busk. Uh, a standard flexible busk is half an inch on each side but this is just a tiny bit wider than that and it is uh, moderately stiff. This corset has a total of 22 bones, 11 on each side. It's single boned on the seams and also single boned in the middle of each panel. So you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These all contain quarter inch wide spiral steel bones. And you can see that it does attract my magnet here. And um, sandwiching the grommets in the back here, there are also two quarter inch wide flat steel bones and you can see that these also attract my magnet. There are a total of 24 grommets in this corset, 12 on each side. They are size double zero with about a medium flange around them, and they're finished in black. Like I said before, it's a black powder coated, um, so it's really nice that it has all black hardware in here. But they're all equidistantly spaced, and they all seem to be holding in pretty well. You can see that uh, the grommets themselves are set a little closer to the back edge as opposed to this bone here. And that's good because as you pull the corset, a lot of the tension is going uh, towards the center back. So the closer these grommets are to the bone here, uh, the less likely they are to pull out. And on the underside here, you can see that they all contain washers. They've all rolled pretty nicely. There's a couple of splits, but they don't seem to catch on the laces here. And uh, they all seem to be holding in fairly well. None appear to be fa falling out. And the laces that come in this corset are your standard workhorse shoelace. So it's your uh, quarter inch wide, flat, black, uh, nylon lacing here. No stretch to them. They're certainly long enough and uh, they hold the knots and the bows well. The CU Underbust Corset by Restyle is available in six different colorways and fabrics. I'm wearing number eight today, which is the burgundy fabric with the black netting over it on the sides here. Um, but it is also available in purple and green and uh, black brocade and cotton and also mesh. These corsets are available in closed waist sizes, 18 inches up to 34 inches. And depending on the type of fabric and color you choose, it ranges in price from $48 US up to $54 US. The one that I'm wearing today is 52, about $52.50 US dollars. And this concludes my review of the CU Underbust Corset by Restyle. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button down there as it helps support this channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or Restyle in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you already own this corset, feel free to leave us your review and what you think of it in a comment down below as well, because I'm sure we'd all love to know. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!